ओके टुडे टॉपिक की इज फिजिकल इन्वेंट्री फिजिकल इन्वेंट्री प्रोसेस ओके सो व्हाट इज व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ फिजिकल इन्वेंट्री प्रोसेस सो फिजिकल इन्वेंट्री प्रोसेस इज नथिंग बट लाइक ए द इन्वेंट्री फिजिकली वैलिडेशन ओके सो इन माय वेरोस लेट्स अस्यूम दैट वी हैव सो मेनी मटेरियल्स ओके so let's assume that there are so many materials are there okay so uh, we don't know how many materials we are getting regularly we are getting so many so many materials are we are getting right so like we have so many materials so many uh, stock is there okay so so what will be happen uh, so stock validation okay uh, whether all the um, stock up good stock issues and stock updates receives so all it is happening properly or not we have to be validated because if something happened like fraud transactions or it may be uh, some misuse of the transaction because of that okay if the users are uh, misusing that and they are skipping to that stock from the some happened right the robbery is like kind of thing so yeah, so everywhere else they have to do regularly the physical inventory uh, validation that means physically the stock validation with system stock okay so for that purpose we are using the physical inventory process so that means we are physically going to the warehouse and counting the stock and validating with the our system stock if it is ever, everything fine then it looks good if it is not fine then we have to be find that what is cause it may be someone is not missing about the goods ship or someone is missing about the customer issues okay stock uh, stock is issued from our location outside physically but the, the stock posting is not happening in the sip so those are we need to be validated right so how we can uh, identify that is it required for all the materials every day no not required okay so uh, they, that is depends on the client how they want to go ahead if suppose it is gold so gold business then regularly they will be validating that when the uh, business starts they will start counting of the stock and when the business timing when they will be starting counting that and they will be validating that how much stock sold on that day and if anything which is missed out all right because it is too expensive there might be happened uh, some robbery kind of thing in the warehouse right so the same kind of things so depends on the product the cost of the product or depends on the category of product okay the uh, the users can define that when they want to be do the uh, physical inventory so generally this physical inventory happened uh, yearly once six months every six months or every quarterly or every week or regularly depends on that it will be happen okay clear now let's try to understand that how we can do that validation so for when you are just planning to do the physical inventory okay you have to be uh, create the physical inventory document and choose that what are the materials you are planning to do okay so so you can count that okay which plant which store location you want to be planning to do the discount okay so the first step is create the physical inventory document physical inventory document so how we can create that by using the mi01 transaction so here what we'll do we'll be uh, entering that document dates and posting dates and plant and store location which one which store location which plant you are planning to do okay and uh, uh, which materials you are planning to do okay so those are we are selecting that you can select the batches as well if you have the batches so all these things you are selecting here okay so let's create that mi01 uh, physical inventory document so let's go to system and create that physical inventory document so okay so so the transaction code is mi01 okay create physical inventory document first we have to be create the physical inventory document okay 
and select that which material which uh, plant you are planning to do suppose i am i'm planning to do my uh, shb plant okay and i'm planning to do my store location shb okay clear now we are entering that which material we planning to do so we have some materials, right? So let's go with uh, check the materials. MM60. What are the materials which we have there in the uh, SHB plant? Just the SHB plant. So these are the materials are there. So I'll just entering that all the materials. Okay, or I can enter the some uh, two to three materials. I'm just entering. Okay. So I'm just entering that. Okay. Okay. This is the materials we are planning to do. Okay. If there is any batch movement is activated, then you can enter the batch movement. Okay, if it is not there, then you can leave that plan. So here you don't you don't need to be entered in any quantity because you are just creating the physical inventory document. What materials you want to do the counting? Okay, just counting what materials you want to do. So you don't know how much stock it is there in the warehouse location. You're just creating a physical inventory and you are planning to do the counting physically. Okay. So if uh, the user knows about the stock, how much it is there, then again, uh, they can uh, they can have the chance to misuse. So that's why, okay, whoever they started counting, they're not ever about it, how much stock it is there. Okay, they started manually the stock. Clear? Is it clear? Okay, so now I'm planning to do these three materials. Okay, I'm just planning to do these three materials and I'm just saving that. So the system will be creating the physical inventory document and this is the physical inventory document which is created. Okay. okay. So any questions here till here? Okay. So if we want to be changed again, if you want to go and change that, you can go with MI02. Okay. You can go MI02 and you can change that. Right? My zero two and change. You can go and you can change. So if you want to be change anything like stock type, you are planning to do for the okay different type of quality inspection stock. And if you want to be block stock, so then if you want to be change that, you can change that. Okay, clear. Yes. Clear. Yes. Clear. Yes. 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 Okay, and. So you can select and go to header details. Okay. If you want to be blocked the postings, okay. You don't want to do any blocking, you don't want to do any postings in between when we are counting that. Okay, because if suddenly we are counting, then suddenly the stock is adding and uh, uh, then it's very difficult to calculate that counting the stock, right? Because the stock is add on, then it's very difficult, right? So if you want to be uh, stop, then you can stop block the stock. So that what will be happened? Okay, when you do, when you did this posting block due to physical one, so it indicates that no goods movement involving the physical this material, whatever the selected materials. Okay, there is no goods movement allowed. Moving to physical inventory can be processed during the physical inventory count. Okay, okay. 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 So the indicator is set for the affected stock in each case and for all the associated stock types. The indicator remains the physical inventory header and unblocked through posting inventory difference. So once the posting inventory differences are posted, then automatically it's on block. Okay. Okay. The, okay. Then only indicates the physical posting block where set the document. Okay. The block indicator can be set in the one of the two ways. Directly upon entry, physical inventory. Okay. So then uh, if the count is to take place immediately or shortly before the count. Okay. So that means Immediately, if you are starting planning to do immediately, then you can block and you can do that. Or shortly before the count, you're just planning to do that. Okay? And when might be your count, we are taking later, maybe tomorrow or after tomorrow, you are planning. Or two, three days after you are planning. Okay. Clear? So you can go MI02 and you can select this one. Clear? Clear? Okay. So now, 
Now, for the physical inventory was changed. Okay, you can change that and uh, how we did uh, go to header and uh, say, select the posting block and uh, save. Okay, then it is changed. Okay. So, you can also try now for this material. If you want to do any transaction, the system will give the error message that this is the due to it is blocked. So, if I'm trying to do something, if I'm trying to do some posting like goods is shipped to our goods is or something which I'm planning to do with others, okay. so the system will be give the error message like, okay, you cannot do any postings here because it is blocked. blocked. Okay, clear? Yes. So I'm, just, I'm just trying to do. Okay, let's see how it will work. Okay, I'm just adding the stock, which is the my material, which is like 87, and uh, I'm just trying to do. And the JSHP is the my plant, which I'm planning to do the physical inventory. Okay, I'm just entering that, uh, all the other details, which is blah, 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 whatever it is required. I'm just checking that. Check. Okay, see, the material is blocked due to physical inventory. Okay. Okay, you got the error? Yes, sir. Yeah. So, yes, sir. So it won't be accept any postings when you are blocked that. Okay. Now we can take the print of this one. Okay, how it is happening? Just take the print of this physical inventory document. Okay. And if you can select that which print or you are planning to do, okay. So we have so okay. So then you can generate the printout and take that printout and they will be going to the warehouse the bins and the location level and they will be validating that okay they will be validating the counting the stock okay so i'll just executing this one and you can print preview and generate that okay so these these are the materials you are planning to do so you have to be entered that how much stock it you are counted but the count the stock you just need to be entered here okay okay clear okay. so this is the way we can generate in the print mi21 okay Okay, now I uh, will be started counting because I have already and I have uh, the materials which we need to do counting everything. So I'm just going to that MI04. MI04 is the entering the count and just entering the physical inventory document number and the year and count it when you are planning to do. Okay, then if you have any variance of you, you can also be able to put the variance variation. Okay, if any material exceeds the limit, then the system issue the warning message. That means okay. if suppose, okay, here itself, if you are putting like 50% or 10%, then the system gives the warning message, okay, there was some uh, wrong calculation so that they can restart, they can recount that immediately. Okay. okay. Yeah. So I'm just putting 10. Okay. I'll just put the 10. Then now I just calculated now uh, 87 uh, material. So let's assume that I have some. Uh, count of uh, uh, two pieces. Let's assume that I have the two two pieces count. Okay. And 89, I have calculated and I have just thought that it is only one piece is there. Okay. Clear? Yeah. Okay. And the next one is, uh, there is one more material also is there. And I'll go for next one. Okay. Now see, count, counted quantity for material 87 Difference from the book inventory. So there are too much differences there. So I just put the 10%, right? So so if it is still 9,800, 890, 10% is okay. But if now there is too much differences there. So that's why system is giving that warning message. Was your material, the counted quantity, address difference book inventory that balance is 9,890. Need to balance. Need to one. So, okay. So that you can do that. So now I just entering that to ten thousand, okay. Okay. And uh, I'm just again entering this also by. Uh, okay. I'll just enter two twenty. Okay. One okay, let's see. Okay, the next one is 121. 121, again, I'm just calculating 400, let's say some thousand, 4,000. So here also there is a too much difference here. Okay. So, okay, enter. Okay, just it's a warning message. Okay, so then now 
I just entered that my counted stock it is 10 and it's 200 and something otherwise which is there I'm just posting that okay if there is any zero count there is no stock then you can select this as well okay okay so if it is there if you can okay so you got a warning message right because of 10 percent of your uh, variance which we are entered in the initial screen am I zero four that's why the system is calculating if there is a more than 10 percent of variance variance is it is giving you a warning message Okay. okay, so now save. Now count wise done. Okay, so count wise done. Count wise done. Okay, the counted, the stock was counted. You can see the what is the count product entered. The, you, whatever you entered, that it is showing here. Okay, okay, clear. So after you saving that, if you want to be change the quantity, you can change the quantity. You can go MA05 and you can change. Okay, if suppose you are assuming that there was something wrong you entered, then you can change that. MA04, you can change and you can enter. Okay. Yes? Yeah. So that has, that is possible. Now, okay, what we can do now, we can go to MA020, MA20. Okay, now you can uh, generate the variance. Okay, you can generate the variance which material you plan to do, which plan and which, okay. Where, whatever that list of the inventory differences are there, it will be executed and it will display here, report. Okay, MI20, you can see that, okay, this material, this are the physical inventory document and these are the materials and the book quantity is this one and quantity quantity is different and the different quantity is this one. Okay. It will show you the report, MI20. Okay. Okay, so here what will be happen? List will be list will appear like this. Okay, you can download this into the dot Excel, whatever Excel X format you can you want to be do that you can do. Okay, and they can be post. Okay, they can difference they can be posted. If you have authorization, then you can post the other differences here. Okay, so if suppose the first differences is there, so if you have the authorization, you can do and you can post them post differences okay, okay clear yeah. or if you can also use the transaction code mi07 okay you can do the post differences or you can do from here as well okay i'm just posting here it will go to the the same screen it will be going to the mi07 only it will go directly mi07 only so it is calculating the difference it is posting the differences okay and okay and you can you need to be entered that when there is a differences is there so the system is asking that the reason why it is the difference is there. Okay? okay. So you might be if you enter that scrap or if you enter something wrong. Okay. If you enter that okay, some poor quality, incomplete or damaged or anything which you enter, that you that answers you have to be entered here. Okay. Okay. So is it is it clear here? Okay. Later. Okay, so this is the way you can post that. Okay, the differences you can post and you can select that. Okay, uh, the differences here. Okay, so let me wrong place in the store location or poor quality. Okay, so you can enter damage. Okay, so okay, so if you see the difference here. Okay, all it is the difference is plus only. Okay, so it is adding to the stock. Okay, so so I'll just put wrongly place the store location. Okay, enter. Okay, and it will be giving the error message that the automatic account determination which is not completed for this one. So I'll be go to OM, OB, OBYC, right? So I'm just doing. For GBB, uh, INT, and INV, TST1, INV, TST1. Okay, INV is there, INV, INV, TST1.
okay now again enter okay now trying to post okay there is no account okay again there was some uh, uh okay. some jail account related issue so wait dot three double three Okay, now again I'm trying to do am I zero seven. I will go I'm going this time am I zero seven directly? Okay. okay. And I'm just entering all the details which is required. In post. Okay, so the posted document. So it now what will happen in the system is posting the difference is posting because you are accepted. Whatever the difference it is there, you are okay accepted. Okay, so you can uh, go to here and you can take the printout. Okay, now it's completed already. Okay, now the physical entry. Status is posted. So you already posted now. Right? So now if you go to MB51 <clears throat> and you can if you see that uh, the material what are the material which is there or what are the posting which is happened today. So if I go to 10 today, so then you can see that the moment types which is posted 701. Okay. The moment type posted 701. So 701 is the uh, physical element related document and 702 also it is a reversal. 701 is plus and 702 is the minus. Okay. okay. So when there is a soft material, so there. Clear? Yes. So you can see the moment types here. Okay. So because stock is added and you can see the FI documents here. Okay. So we are registered the stock. Okay. We are registered the stock. Clear? So you are accepted that the differences, whatever it is coming, you are accepted, right? Okay. So you can go to MI22 and see the documents, whatever the documents which is posted, you can see here. It's all over, all whatever it is posted, you can see the documents here, MI22. Okay, that report will get, display material documents will get it. Okay. So this is the way we can see the, okay, physical inventory for each material. And you can go to MI23 also, Okay, display physical inventory documents here also you'll get with the, each data, complete okay. data. You see each individual data which you will get, okay? How much when it's completed and uh, when it's executed, all this information will get it, okay? Okay, clear? Yes. So this is the way we can do the physical inventory. Okay. So why we are doing the physical inventory? We are validating the stock physically. Okay. 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 We are validating the stock physically and entering that the stock. We are validating the stock with uh, with physical stock and uh, system stock. Okay. MI24 also you can see the, the what you did, counted, counted and registered, or you are rejected, what is the status it is like. You can see the status of okay. MI24. Okay. Clear? Yes. Suppose, suppose, let's say, uh, after we post that, okay, we just thought that there was something wrong, okay, then we need to, we want to do the recount, okay, by using this physical inventory document, you want to be recounted, then you could, you can go to MI11, and you can start recounting that, same, okay, okay, physical inventory started, status was posted, if the status was not posted, then only you can do, that means before, Posting clearance the differences. Okay, suppose let's say I'm just creating uh, again my zero one, and I'm creating one more time. Okay, and one material I'm just creating. Okay, save the one uh, material which we have created. Okay, so now this is the material. Uh, this is physical inventory. Now I'm counting. I started counting. Okay. Then entering that the material, suppose uh, there will be something 5,000 is there, okay? 
So five thousand material it is there. So I just posted that. Okay. So now after this counted, after this counted, we just see that okay, there was too much difference there. So what I thought that okay, there was something happened. We need to do recount. Okay. So after counted again, the team they are asking to recount that. Then you can go to MI eleven. Okay. Then start again recount and okay. Then you can change and you can do that. Okay. If you want to do recount and you can do that. Okay. So recount will be created again new material document number. Okay. So everywhere you can use the posting block and you can do all the transactions. Clear? So this is the way we can do the yeah. uh, recount and again print out and counting and uh, completed. Same process like. Okay, clear? Yeah. Is it clear? Any difference? Uh, any difference which is posted, either it will go to uh, 701 moment type or 702 moment type. Okay. Is it clear? Yeah. So you can see. Uh, it is not posted, not entered, right? So, my zero is one. Can enter. So, so this is posted already. Physically, we posted. Okay. So, how to be count start again? So again, start. I will be entering that this time and enter post. So again, recount again, it will be done. Okay. Then if the post differences, you can post. Okay. Now you can post the differences. And now, uh, now the, it is a negative quantity. If you see the negative quantity, then the moment type is 702. So the, the, what are the 702 which is there? That uh, stock types you can, region you can use. Okay. Again, we are getting some new in no, two, three, two, double, three, double, triple, zero. Okay. So now we will be posting the difference. So now there is a too much difference is there, negative balance. Okay. The existing stock is 10,000 something. Now the 7,000 something we are posting. So there is a negative. So that means 3,000 there is a difference. Now what will be happen? The system will be posted with a moment type of which moment type it will be post? Which moment type it will be post? Sorry. 702. Because 702. Because 702. Because why? Tell me. Because there is a negative. That means the shortage is there. So that's why if you can see here 702, which is posted. Okay. okay. There was too much difference is there. That's why it is posted. Clear? So 701, 702. Clear? Yes. So this is the way we will do the physical inventory process. And there is a one more process also it is there in the physical inventory. This is the generally we selected the material and we are doing the physical inventory and we are posting the inventory difference. Suppose okay. there is a cycle counting. There is a process called cycle counting. Okay, we are segregating the products like A indicate A category, B category, C category. So A category are too expensive. I need to do every three months. B categories are little bit expensive. I want to do the every month, every six months. Okay. Then okay. there will be a C category. These are the very less, less price products. So it's okay. We can do every year. So like we are just segregating the products with category. Okay. okay. So OMC, OMCO is a uh, transaction code to create the uh, indicators like you can create A, B, C, D, E, F, G like that. Indicators you can create. Okay. Then you can tell that number of physical inventories. Okay. 12 or 6 or 3 or year. One means yearly once. 
quarterly and hourly and every month etc monthly yearly so all times like that you can do that. okay okay so you have to be assigned at plant level okay so our our plant is uh, zshb right zshb we don't have the zshb so i can i'm just copying to that here and zshb You got right what I'm doing. You understand, right? Okay. I'm just creating the indicators to define the our categories. The materials category we are defining them. Okay. 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 Now, now let's go to MM02. Okay. Let's go to MM02. I have the material like 89. Okay. So I just assume that this product is very expensive. So what I will just planning to do. The general plan data storage too, and entering that all the details which is required, and I'm just entering that the physical inventory needs to be done. Okay. Uh, where is the plan data storage one? Okay. okay. So in the plan data storage one, the plan data storage one, there is a physical inventory, cycle counting physical inventory document. Okay. So here you have to be select that. See, we are created ABC indicator, right? That ABCD which is showing here. So whether you want to do uh we want to like six or three months like that, you can select that indicator and put the CC fixed. That means no need to change this one. Okay. So this must be done everyone. So like okay. okay. Clear? Yep. So then save. Now again 87. 87, I'm just planning to do. Go to organization levels, select that. Okay, and again, I'm selecting here. This time, I'm selecting B. Okay. Okay. Now, one more, which is like we have material like 125. 125. 125. Okay. So I'm just doing, trying to do for 121, which is the so C indicator. Okay, C indicator. That means every quarterly. Okay. Okay. So so that means I have three materials. I'm segregating that one material how to do uh, every month and uh, one material how to do every year, every six months, and uh, one month. One material we have to do every month, okay? So like that, we are disagreeing that. Yes. Okay? okay? Clear? Yes. Now, now you can go to MICN, the transaction code, to generate that, create a physical inventory document in the background, based on the, okay, based on the, the materials, which is, okay, which is cycle counting indicators are updated, based, Okay, this month or next month or uh, every quarter or every six months, what are the documents? That means uh, whatever the counting needs to be done, that materials will be created physical inventory document. Okay, so I'm just uh, selecting here. Okay, so planned counted from and to, I'll just put the five, okay, one year, next one year, what is there? Okay, I'm not uh, selecting that one day, I'm just selecting the one year. So the, this one year, Whatever it is there, it will display here. Okay. okay. I'm just removing the material number and I give. So in this plant, in this store location, what are the materials which is there? You can see that for this also generated, this also generated, this is also generated. Because I'm doing I'm doing for one year. Okay. All right. The physical one. For year. So A indicator was generated, B indicator was generated, C indicator was generated. Okay, you can now select this one and go to generate season and again select this one the process season. Okay, then you can see here the system is created that one season. Okay, this is generally we are doing for the batch input record. That means the background, the system needs to be processed the jobs. Okay, batch input data recording and opting. Okay, 
and it will go for back and you can also select this one and process it. Okay. So like you can uh no. Okay. So like you can see generated sections, all this you can see that. Okay. Now process section you can see here. This was generated uh, just a moment or uh, 30 minutes back and again it's created. Okay, now see, now go to process. Okay? I'm just process this one. The system trying to create that. You want to be creating the background or process foreground or how you want to be. So you want to be see only display error message and in the background you want to process to create a physical inventory document or you want to do process foreground. That means step by step. You want to be okay. entered the step by step. Okay, I'm just going to process for ground. Let's see how it is calling the batch input record. Okay, it is calling the transaction to create a physical inventory document. Enter. Okay, see, it is going to physical inventory document to creation. Okay, I'm not doing anything. I'm not entering any transaction code. It is going MI01 and trying to create it. Okay, okay. then enter. And what material it is selected based on the word selection. And it is created and save. The physical inventory document was created. And Done. Okay. Then again, this creating one more. So like, okay, the all three uh, materials which is created. Okay, all three materials for all three materials which is created. Let's see if it is created or not created. Okay. So I'm going to my zero three display. Okay. See one this material physical inventory document was created for one twenty one. Okay. And I again go to four. This created for eighty seven. Okay, and 3G, okay, this is created for 89. Okay. Okay. Clear? Yeah. So the physical inventory document automatically it was created. So I just go to foreground, that's why you can able to see it. But if I go to, if I just click on background and system automatically created. Okay. Okay. Clear? Now again, the same process. MI04 counting, MI07 uh, uh, clearance that differences and all. So the cycle counting is, is like, okay, uh, without forgetting. That means suppose we are in the work, we are forgetting to counting this material. So it is giving that, okay, uh, this month we have to do this material to count. These are the category materials have to be count this month. Okay, so that's what physical inventory document was created. Just next month, then this material have to be count. So based on the work um, cycle counting, category like A indicator, B indicator, C indicator, the system will be generating the physical inventory document that you can do. Okay? okay. Clear? So this yeah. is the way also. Now this, uh, again, you can just start doing that counting and uh, differences you can post and all. You can do. Clear? So yeah. like you can post and save. The differences, you can post that. Any questions? No. Okay, so you can post and and show. Okay, so like you can post a, uh, they will, so they will see that, the report they will see, and the, these are the physical inventory documents are created today, so I have to be processed this. <laughs> okay, clear? Okay. Is there any questions here? Okay. okay, so it is like we can uh, checking that uh, all these details, you can see all these details here. What are it is generated, you can see here. MI23, MI25, all these things you can do. Sorry, MI24. Physical inventory list, you can see. If you, are, if you don't know, suppose the physical inventory document, you can execute that. You can see the physical inventory documents are created. So not at counted, not at counted, counted. See how we can see that. Okay, clear. Okay. Yeah. So then you can start and counting this one. Okay, clear. Yeah. So this is the way uh, we can do the physical inventory. One is cycle counting, one is manual work. Manually, uh, physical inventory count. Calculus. So this is the physical inventory process. Okay, this is the every company they will use this process because they want to be calculate the counting the stock. At least they have to be validate every six months or every one year or every quarterly they have they will do. Okay. Because so what will happen in the warehouse have to be checked now. 
so they have to they will validate it. okay okay yeah. so this yes. is the way we can do the three one two one any questions no sir 